here you see them just as Negro leaders, and there they are. Um, they were equal back then, and this was the fourth annual Institute of Nonviolence, if you all can read that. And that's the way I knew them. You know, Daddy was the thinker, Uncle Martin was the voice, but Daddy was the thinker and the planner and trying to figure out how to keep the peace and make the, everything work. And uh, you can see the photograph, it's worth a thousand words. It tells the story for you. Uncle Martin's thinking, what do we do, what do we do? And they're, they're like, well, let me see. <laughs> Once the uh, uh, civil rights movement started, I mean, well, once Montgomery started, Bayard Rustin came down. Bayard Rustin had been at Morehouse College with Uncle Martin, and he suggested to Uncle Martin the idea of nonviolence, that this be a nonviolent movement because Bayard was with the Fellowship of Reconciliation. Anyway, so the man who taught my dad and, non, and Uncle Martin nonviolence was this white man, Glenn Smiley, who came down from the Fellowship of Reconciliation to replace uh, Bayard Rustin. And when Jim Lawson comes, he'll be able to tell you more about Glenn, because Glenn was from Pasadena, California. And I used to meet them like once a month, Glenn Smiley and uh, Jim Lawson, and they taught me nonviolence. But that's Glenn, and the history books, when you look at it, they won't mention Glenn Smiley. And I think they don't mention Glenn Smiley because people were segregationists. They don't want black and white to be together. And so that must be why they don't mention him in the history books. But on my dad's deathbed, he kept repeating, Glenn Smiley, Glenn Smiley. Glenn Smiley taught me and Martin the principles of nonviolence. So wherever I go, I tell people that because I want people to know who he was and what he did and his contribution.